What is up guys? So this is a topic that everyone covers eventually, and that is the similarities between Jesus and Dionysus. So someone years ago on Facebook commented that Dionysus is Jesus, meaning that the story of Jesus was ripped off from Dionysus. I don't 100% agree with that, and that's not 100% accurate, but there are some eerily similar things that are in the two mythologies that you question yourself. You're like, I've definitely heard this before, or this looks very similar to this. And so what brought this up was me reading the Bacchae and studying the Bacchae, the famous play by Euripides. And my Zelda the Destroyer, my cat's in here, by the way. And when it becomes, um, when it gets to the part of the play when Pentheus is interrogating Dionysus, I was like, this is very similar to the situation between Pontius Pilate and Jesus. So let's talk about some of the similarities between Dionysus and Jesus today. So I'm not going hardcore like some people do. They make memes and posts that this is this. They even go as to say that Dionysus had 12 disciples and all this stuff. That's not true. That's not accurate. But there are um, similarities in the stories and connections Not um, that makes you wonder that if the author of the New Testament had heard some of these stories before and they used it to create a new story, kind of a reboot and a remake or borrowing ideas and plagiarized some ideas that they had heard from growing up. So the Bacchae was written in 407 BC, so you can't say that it was written after the story of Jesus. It's actually the opposite. But like I mentioned, the story of the Bacchae, uh, the play, is very similar and tells a similar story in ways to what we hear about Jesus, that the Bacchae is basically... Dionysus claiming his divinity. He's in a family and his family, some of his family do not believe that he is actually a god and so he is going to prove himself as a god. Now what's interesting is that again what I said at the intro that Pentheus the king of Thebes or Theba um, is interrogating Dionysus or Dionysos and in the similarities, if you watch, if you're familiar with the interrogation of Pontius Pilate to Jesus, and you will look at King, the king interrogating Dionysos, it's very similar. The words are not the same. It's not a literal translation. And Dionysos is not as passive as Jesus is, but he is still um, owning up to himself being more than a man. And the king, or in the Jesus story, Pontius, being the interrogator of this, and having him, both Jesus and Dionysus, in chains. Another thing that is interesting that happens in that Bacchae is that he is, Dionysus is sent to prison, but the chains fall off and he escapes the prison, which is something that happens to the apostles. I want to say it was Paul in the uh, New Testament later that he is imprisoned. And there, I want to even say there was an earthquake and the shackles fell and he got out, if I remember right. It's been a while since I've read the New Testament. But either way, he was loosed from his chains and sent out of prison, much like Dionysos. So that was another thing I was like, talk about something that's eerily similar again in referenced in another myth. Now, the final point that I thought was interesting that I was thinking about is, you know, they say that Jesus is our connection to God to when we go through the blood of Jesus to get to the Father. Now, what do we use in Hellenic polytheism that we always use in rituals and to pray to the gods and offer as libation? Wine. 
and the wine is associated with Dionysos. So it's Dionysos' wine is what we pour to libation to make connections to the gods. Much like how they say that Jesus is the blood of Jesus is what connects us to the Father in Christianity. Interesting. So I can definitely see the connections that people make. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I just wanted to end it by sharing with you all my favorite interpretation of a scene from the Bacchae. And that is, I do believe it was in 1984, and I used it for the intro for this video. It is for the BBC a documentary, and it was not just on the Bacchae, but it was for other topics. But they had Terrence Stamp, who portrayed Dionysos. Terrence Stamp is Zod on Superman 2, and that guy is awesome. So I'm going to put a link down uh, to that scene in the description for you guys to check it out. And again, that's what you saw the intro for this video. It was taken from that excerpt uh, with Terrence Stamp being Dionysos. And, and he's awesome. Talk about a classy actor. Really cool guy. Anyway, guys, check out that video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you later.